Who do you think would have done it? You think a Navy SEAL like living in her house, all of her ex husband or her real husband still, his friends are like spying on her and tell her what, he, what she does every day, and he's like, he's a weirdo, and she has no privacy, and they're crazy, and they can like, and really they're bipolar, and they make us bipolar like them, because, and they're really going crazy, but really they're not going crazy, and they were just in war, and they like had to spy on the Chinese, and they're like, oh, they're gonna kill people already, watch. Yeah, and they can like save them, and like jump on them, and like, I'm like, and make sure they didn't hurt them, and still be like, take the knife away, and be like, whoople, and they're like, get out, get out. You guys are from my family! And they're like, no, we come for peace. We come for, we're Navy SEALs. We're from the United States of America. And they're like Navy SEALs. And they come back to the United States and they're crazy. And they have husbands and wives. Or the husbands have their wives. And they hit their wives because they're still crazy. Because the wife drives them crazy. And he's probably a good man named James Cobert. But really, he didn't want to hit his wife. But we had to somehow forgive him and let him move on in life. And be a good man and still see his daughter. Like, like, Jamie wants, or State, or... Carrie wants to see his daughters. He didn't even do anything wrong. But maybe he's too good of a dad, and his wife maybe it's something's wrong with him because he's too nice every day. And what do you think of gay people? Well, gay's wrong because you weren't born gay. People choose, like, let's say I was gay with you, and I wanted to think about your... I'm not thinking about it right now, but I'm going to say the word. Let's say I was thinking about your penis. That'd be gay. But let's say, like, one time you walked by and you were in your town, I was like, oh, that guy's probably his, his penis is under there. That, that'd be normal, like a normal thought. But, like, if I think, like... I want you to turn me on by something like perverted I did, like with my nipple. That'd be like weird, but I'm not gay. If you were, that would be bad. If I was, it wouldn't be like, it, yes, it'd be sort of a bad thing, but don't get down on yourself if you're gay. Just try to work on it, and like maybe if you still are attracted to men, maybe you should be like, hey man, call your friends up and go like disc golfing, or go golfing, or go swimming, but do exercise, and then go to church, and try to read the Bible, and just try to be around people that aren't gay, and see how they act. Now, if you meet a guy who's not gay and he's sort of mean to you, don't get mean and try to hurt him or try to kill him or try to, like, call the cops on him or something. Give that person who's straight, give that person time to tell you how he feels and why he's straight. Now, when you're gay, you've got to still be fair to people. You can't, you can't try to hurt people if you're gay and make fun of you because people are gay. And then, like, don't be afraid of even gay people because you're telling them how you feel. It's called a freedom of speech and freedom of religion. And I think my religion that God made you and made her when he had you come out of your mommy's womb and your her vagina and the cop and, and not the cop the doctor goes like this and goes man look at the miracle baby he's alive and the, and the heart's going beep 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 the mom and dad shouldn't be thinking is the baby gay you should be thinking oh my god does he have his toes is he breathing can he see watch does he follow my finger and go he can see my finger okay I mean he's not blind maybe he's blind let's see if he's colorblind look he's blue if you put red behind blue, we'll look at red first because red's like a scary color because red just like makes the eye look like blood. And if people are scared of blood, they see blood, they go. <laughs> but if you don't let kids see blood, they go. Like a newborn if they see blood, they go. Because <laughs> they're scared of blood. It's just red. Or maybe the devil's always red. Do you see a picture of the devil and the pictures of like, let's say like skateboard brands called like, um, they're called what? What's the skateboard brand of the devil? What's that called? It's called Spitfire. They're devils. But it's not a bad thing, but it's still that kind of Spitfire. Like, I never bought the brand Spitfire because I thought it was like, if I liked Spitfire, I thought that would be, I was gay and things, and the devil wants you to be gay. But God doesn't want people to be gay. God wants you to, like, raise children, like the girls out here, and, like, if you had a boy, imagine, imagine if Carrie, they were together before Carrie, Stacy met me, and before she met James, or they got divorced. And let's say I want to marry Stacy, not Carrie. Let's just say me, for instance, and I wanted to be straight my whole life since I was born, and I want to marry a woman like Stacy. Look, get the camera on Stacy. That beautiful one right there. She's a woman. She's not a man dressed like a woman or had boobs or had it cut off and put a vagina. That'd be like a transvestite, right? I don't know what that word means. Is that a transvestite that way? That's called being something that you're Trans not. Transsexual. God wants you to accept who you are and love who you are. If you feel like you want to see men and it turns you on, the devil the messes with the... Listen, Stacey, do you know the devil? Not me. Not the devil or she's not the devil. The devil, you can't see the devil. The devil could be like a spirit that goes around and get dizzy, but he doesn't get dizzy. And God is like... Watch the devil, because the devil and God were friends I heard in the Bible, but the devil did something wrong to God and didn't trust God. I goes, fine, go live life yourself without me and don't believe in me. I won't protect you then. But I'll still protect you, devil. But, like, I won't really be there to help you out. And if you do wrong things, that's just your life. And the devil is, like, probably a person, but we can't see the devil. It's probably like a ghost. And God is probably the Holy Ghost, too, that you can't see either. So there's a God, there's a devil, and they're everywhere. And the devil can make, like, let's say, um, piranhas. And God can make dolphins that go, ah! And swim in the, for the kids to see and go, and the devil can make piranhas every day. If they don't want to change, the piranhas can go, 
and eat the stomach and be like, and maybe kill that person, but maybe like hurt them. You know, we go to the hospital and be like, oh my God, I got to take my piranhas or like, or doing all these things wrong. But sometimes God works in mysterious ways where like, if you're living life and you're knowing you're doing the right things and you work hard and you're not like a person who's like, trying to get with the same sex, which is like gay. I don't like the word you use the word gay because I heard gay means you're happy too. So how can gay happy and gay mean a bad thing too? So I think we should find a different word for the word men and men or women and men. We should call it wrong or not right or mistreating somebody or on the wrong track. And that's not how you really go to church. You don't go to church gay. You don't really go to church as a lesbian really. I mean, if you did, you can do that and still be so welcomed and nobody will make fun of you. But you will probably feel a little uncomfortable because why? Because you know in your head, because you're intelligent. Everybody's intelligent. Now, if you're special in the brain and, like, you've had concussions, or let's say not even that. That's called more, like, physics. You're handicapped now because you can't really, like, you have concussions and you have, like, blood, blood clots or you have a crack in your brain. You're not me or anybody, I'm saying. I don't mean special. I mean, like, somebody who goes, read the book, like, real slower than you have to, like, read those words, like, three till. Went, went to Burger King and got French fries to and a drink and you go... French fries and a drink, I've said it. Some people go, I went to the went to the Burger King, got French fries and a drink, period. And after Burger King, their brain can comprehend, like, I went to Burger King, now, as they're reading that next sentence, and that next sentence, some people, brains are slow. And that's why they're called slow. They aren't made to be going, hey, punk faggot, and go, and beat them up. That'd be called a bully picking on a special person. That'd be like gay people making my brother special gay, when he's not gay. That'd be called picking on a guy who's straight. Who's even special? Who God made just like they made the guys who are gay. But they're being gay because it feels good probably to them. And they think that feeling is, if they can feel that feeling, then why would God give them that feeling? But really the feeling they can have, they can have with a woman too. And it'd be more right. And God would heal their body more every day. Wouldn't it make them look more like, as some people want to say, a gay person.